Today I'm going to remix Dean Lewis's song called Memories. It's an absolutely phenomenal and beautiful song, and I thought it would sound really good if I turned it into a progressive house idea. So I'm about to do that, and I was I was like, yo, might as well film it. So you guys are going to join me. Grab your snacks, grab your beverages. Episode 42, underway. Let's get it. So I'm very inspired, so we're going to get right down to business. So one thing that I'm going to do straight away is actually extract the stems from... Dean Lewis's track, Memories. All right, FL Studio just finished extracting the stems. Their stem extraction is absolutely phenomenal, but that's besides the point. Um, the beautiful thing about this track, though, is it is a ballad pretty much, so it's going to be very easy to produce on top of it since there's so much room to begin with. And, guys, the key of it, his beautiful vocal, honestly, the whole track is already arranged so perfectly, so I'm thinking what we'll start to do first is I'm going to remake the bass line and now that i say that out loud i'm pretty sure fl studio has a new way to get midi out of audio which i don't know how to do yet but that's fine i'm gonna open up um let's open up serum and i'm gonna just pick a quick bass sound that i'll use to remake the bass line with that bass line obviously i can make a drop and then i can also make chords from that bass line they don't have to be his exact chords um but again having that bass line will just be very helpful so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. The bass that I just pulled up sounds like this. This is one of my own presets actually, and I love to just filter out the top. Turns in a really nice sub. Okay, so this song is in D major, I think I read online, so. There we go. Okay. Let me see if this is the bass line that plays throughout the whole song. See the day I got I wish I best in me. You always so alive. Oh, that you got memories. You never know the way me peace when I had no left. Thanks for the memory. Okay, yeah, beautiful. So this bass line pretty much plays throughout the whole song, which is extremely Helpful, nice and easy. I'm gonna also just take a second to organize. I'm gonna ungroup all this good stuff. Let's put this up here under references in case I need that for some reason. And these are gonna be my main stems. Um, we'll make the instruments green. But yeah, so guys, the theme is gonna be pretty much for me to just produce on top of what is already an incredible song. Let's, uh, let's do some quick sketch work here. Piano will open up with the track like normal. I'm going to add my own synths and ambient sounds to kind of make it more EDM-y, more spacious, atmospheric. Um, so that's to come, but I'll throw in a kick. In me. Or I'll throw in a kick and bass probably here. This is the hook. I'll probably go for a dramatic um, dramatic hook where I just take out the bass. Memories, when I had no this would probably be the build-up. Right here is likely going to be the drop. Memories. 100%. Okay. So I'm going to move over all this other stuff just for right now. And another thing that I want to address right away, he's got some sick background vocals and chants over here in the end of the song. Yeah, I want to see, can I use that actually for my build up instead? Because I love that that would work really well with big, you know, build up kind of drums and effects and stuff. Thank you for all you were the one who gave me peace, gave me peace when I had no left. I'm gonna steal the last bit of the song. The piano picks up, which sounds amazing. Let's drag that over here. And then I'm gonna use that same piece of the vocal. So that way I get those chants that I was looking for, plus then we'll have the end as well. So that will look like this. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do. The easy thing to do as well would be to sidechain the piano here as well. And we're going to add a kick. 
Again, very, very progressive house, but I feel like this song is just begging for it. Maybe not maybe not begging for it, you know? What I'm doing is is unsolicited or solicited. What's the right word? Don't solicitate. I don't know. I don't know. I'm on Mars. Don't mind me. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go for a smooth filtered kick. And um, I made one the other day. Ah, I didn't render it though. Okay, no problem. We can just go for kind of a regular progressive house kick, if you will. Like this is fun. Um, kind of softer. And then just again, quickly use something like Simplon and just filter off the top. She brought out the best. Yep. Yeah, I kind of want a little bit of that mid-range attack, but not much. Now I'm gonna take a second. Let's get some atmospheric sounds going. We want to make this break um, very spacious and emotional and, you know, introduce a little bit more atmosphere so that it fits in a progressive house environment. The piano is already such an electric start. We can kind of make one um, very simply as well. The one that I'm picturing in my head and the one that I use in my other song is almost like an 80s saw. And we start with the cutoff low and then we open it up. So maybe we'll use Sky Keys for that. I've been wanting to mess with this plugin a bit. Haven't had the full opportunity to do so. But I do, let me actually drop a star on that. Okay, so we're gonna leave this on D. Let's find where we want this to play as well. Probably here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the move. So we're going to do some filtering. So something like this. The reverb and delay are going to be super, super important. We'll go for vintage verb. Make the decay longer. Also do a low cut quick, and then probably, actually let's do Echo Boy instead, ambient echoes. This sounds really nice, then we could squeeze it. Let's do OTT so we get more brightness. And now there's that annoying frequency. Okay, so as a starting point, that sounds really cool. I can tweak it maybe a little bit. I feel like I want a little bit more brightness, but for now it's fine. And this is gonna kind of just repeat throughout this section. I never thought I'd see the day that I wouldn't see your face. Looking back, God, I wish I knew. Spread it out a little bit more. And then another thing, just real quick, I need to add a fruity balance. Sorry, I'm like super locked in. I can't even talk. <laughs> I uh, I was gonna say I need to add a balance just so it fades properly. I never thought I'd okay, now another really crucial thing for this kind of stuff is atmospheric drones. So things that just sound so so pretty. I definitely have a few, especially in this key. So let's see if they work. Yeah, like I love this one. Just maybe we'll filter it. Never, th never thought I'd see the day that I wouldn't see your face. Looking back, God, I wish I know that I'd love you than have to let go. Cause you yeah, it's pretty cool. We can also open up the filter. as the break progresses and we need more energy. So here it'll stay, this is fine. And then I'd say like right here, we should start thinking about opening this filter.
and for this style, um, normally I would let drones just rock and play normally, but I want to get that really classic kind of pumpy feeling in the break when the kick comes in, which basically just means I got to sidechain everything. So going to also sidechain this drone, and then I'll turn it back off when the hook starts. All right. I might also, just for vibes, I might, uh, I might fade this in. Yeah. So we get a little bit of the OG. Comes in. I never thought I'd see the day that I wouldn't see your face. So this is all fire already. Perfect. That I'd love you then have to let go. One thing I'll definitely do is add the classic um, kind of progressive house chords, I call them gonna do that right now so again i'm not like super super concerned with making the exact chords with all the different variations and stuff i think just having the general triads and kind of going that way will be more than enough also let me open up the processing that i've done for this already But yeah, roughly speaking, this is good. So thank you for I think... Okay, so number one, we need a few impacts. So let's get the orc impact. I think this would sound good here. Yeah. And then also here... So thank you for all what if we did the... Uh, <laughs> that one. What do I call that? Ed, so thank you for all the memories. It does sound good. It always does. It always does. Okay, now I think this section will be pretty easy and pretty standard to fill out. Um, the big thing is the drop, right? So I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, let me just kind of get this out of my sight so that less uh, less visual stimulation uh, now, nah, but in all seriousness, I think it's time to start thinking about a drop. So we're going to start with a pluck. I kind of like that because it has that guitar kind of feel to it already. So that'll make for a nice layer. Let's also go to silent. And let's see what we can find in here. Um, right now I'm just looking for anything that catches my ear. If I get rid of the noise, this one could be solid. Also going to open up Nexus again. So for Nexus, in this instance, I'm going to look for my rave lead. Yeah, so that's good. Kind of standard. Spire, let's look for a funky lead. Let's look for something that will make this feel a little interesting. I love that. And I also love that lead, too. I might replace... Yeah, I actually don't like that. Let's get rid of this one. I'm gonna duplicate Spire. And then we're gonna use either this one or this one. I also love this guy too. All right, so now let me balance these out. Really try to get a character slash vibe going. I wanna base everything around this pluck. Start with Camel Crusher here. And I want this to play up an octave. I think this is gonna be my second most important lead. Increase the release here. Okay, upon further review, I do not like the silent lead. It was sounding pretty good, but uh, I didn't like the... Mm, I don't even know how to describe that quality that it had, but I just don't want that sound in my stack, pretty much. The other three... It's a pretty nice start. I just want to make it sound a little happier. Clean saw, maybe? Okay, this is a lot 
more what I'm looking for. We're going to decrease the release on this sound. Silent is kind of doing the same thing that Nexus was doing. This one's a bit cleaner, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to open up another instance of Spire now. And in this new layer, I'm just looking for a binder, if you will. Something that's going to kind of piece everything together nicely. So let's see. So as much as I like this lead, it just is not working in this stack. So we'll just get a different layer that is kind of doing the same thing. Like this also has that whiny feel to it. Hmm. Yep, so this is just part of the process, folks. Takes a little bit of time. Bit of trial and error. Okay, so this lead, very, very simple lead. Kind of your basic saw sound-ish. Sounds awesome. This layer is not doing enough for me. So I need to figure out... Well, not, I don't need to figure out anything. I just need to get rid of this sound and then switch it for a better sound. I'm really looking to get that crying kind of quality. It's the best way I could describe it. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to describe these things. This is good enough for me to just build the track, right? Sometimes I'll have to go back and switch layers and adjust the lead stack, right? And that's all fine and dandy. But I don't want to lose my flow anymore. I kind of want to keep listening to the song, get inspired, and make a nice melody. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to create a group and add some quick processing. I'm going to actually just open up something that I've made in the past already. Save some extra time. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna just listen to the hook over and over again and uh, and try to make a melody that fits. Very important. Thank you for all the I really like this melody actually, but just to kind of scratch my own itch, I want to I want to try a new melody too, just from scratch. See what I can come up with. Do this one quicker. the one I think that's the one so thank you for all the memories you never know what it meant to me let's go I'm listen I'm going to condense that down because that took me far too long but ladies and gentlemen that is how the cookie crumbles sometimes sometimes a melody comes to me like that just at the snap of a finger other times I, it really makes me work for it you know um but, but we got it. Okay, awesome. So I'm very, very excited about this melody. Um, I think that in theory for this section with my arrangement that I had in mind, this would be washed out in reverb, very quiet in the background. The lead stack also, let me add, sounds way better with those adjustments that I made. So I'm also very stoked about that. Um, I'm going to move the standard clip towards the end because it's kind of acting as my limiter. I'm going to go ahead and add endless... Mm, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add Endless Smile. Nope, that's Effectrix. Holy Ancient. Go ahead and add Endless Smile. And then a Simplon. Let me lower that.
Guys, this is so, so dope. I'm so happy I made that melody. I'm so happy I didn't give up. Wow. Let's freaking finish this. Okay, bang. The first thing that I'm going to do, I want to really isolate the melody when he sings memory. I kind of want everything to float here, so... Right there will be the drop. I can do like filtering and the smile, all that good stuff for sure. But um, I think I'm going to do the drop first, actually. I think I'm going to do the drop first and then uh, and then I'll go back to the build. That I know kick. Very nice one. Claps. This one might be cool. All right, crashes for sure. I also want to add um, kind of like this invisible shaker, I call it, in the background. I think that'll sound nice. Also, got to get the noise ride going for sure ski. It's also a really good idea to get like a low tom. Might need to go lower than this, but. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna also just quickly rebalance all these drums. Things are a little crazy right now. Is that a slight bit of side chain on this clap so that it glues together nicely? Cool, a little bit of rebouncing. The break is 100% going to be way too loud now. I'm going to also just take the piano and the vocal way down. Okay, now this crash, I definitely want to crash in the drop, but this one from Novocaine is actually, it's kind of like a crash and a ride in one. I don't want that. I want it to be a very clear crash sound. So I'm going to use the one from Being Alive instead. A little too wide. Much better. All right, now it's time to do the chords, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna start with a big piano. We're gonna rock with a simple EDM piano. This isn't gonna be the primary focus. This is gonna be a layer, so this um, this sound in particular works really nicely because it's very processed already. Why is it not copying? Am I doing something wrong? Control C, and then 
Control V. Oh, okay. I was messing that up. Anyway, yeah, this piano, it's a very nice um, processed, plucky piano. So it'll make for a really nice layer. Um, let me also just make sure I'm doing the bass line correctly too. So the bass line, I believe, is the main bass line, because there's some variations, is G, D, B, A. G, D, B, A. Okay, bring that down an octave. Let's do G, D. Hold up. I'm going to have to move the melody up an octave too. So we're going to do really wide spread chords. We'll do G, D, and B up here. Okay, now for this piano, we're going to do two things real quick. Chop off a bit of the lows. And then we really have to add a dynamic EQ here because this area is so damn harsh. Awesome. Now we're going to add um, kind of a basic saw sound. I love to add these kind of sounds in my progressive house drops. It's basically just a very simple, um, kind of like an in it chord, right? Just a simple saw chord. There's one in particular I like to use. Um, it was from this library. I don't know if it was that sound. I may have not hearted it. Okay, I don't know where I put it. This one is good enough. I love to add in these types of drops a cool sound. <laughs> and, uh, and State Machine Faded Keys has tons of those. In all seriousness, what I mean by cool sound is, is one that's a bit dreamy and atmospheric. So, Okay, well, I mean, this first one already is perfect. This will add a little bit more dimension to our stack and honestly just make it a little more interesting. I think what we're going to have to do is raise it up an octave. And then what we're going to do is on this chord group, we're going to compress all of these sounds together uh, with supercharger. Throw on soothe. Default presets fine. Let's see what this sounds like. I actually wanted the piano to be more subtle. Let's bring out maybe the faded keys more. Amazing. I'm not going to lie, that main chord from Spire that's adding a lot of energy, it's not the sound that I was looking for. This one does work. I would be curious to go find the sound that I'm talking about because I don't know where I put it. Um, I used it in a recent project, so I'd have to go figure out what sound that was and then retry it. But, I mean, the stack does sound quite nice as it is. The big one now, bass. So we're going to go to Spire first, or Sarah, I mean. And for this bass, again, like the whole theme of this is kind of simple and like kind of clean. So we don't want to go for a massive, insane, aggressive bass. We still are going to need a kind of top bass, right? Something a little fuzzy to add energy and grit. 
but it's just not going to be what I normally do, right? It's going to be a little bit more tame. So let's go here. I'd be curious also because of the rhythm. I'd be curious to try a uh, like a housey bass or like something with a bit of bounce to it. Ah. This is actually pretty solid. This is kind of in line. Yeah, this is going to make it feel like less static. Desperately needs to be beefed up though. Camel Crusher. Now this is certainly gonna be our our warm bass, right? So this is not gonna be our sub, because there's not a lot of weight to this sound. We'll go ahead and uh, and maybe we'll do what we did with the with the break and just use that that technique I talked about. Which is very simple, but basically we take the Ryo simple gritty. Simplon it down. And then this is our sub. Okay, so it definitely works with the sub. The bass is going to be a little bit more work. So I'm going to start by soloing just the kick. I want to get away with using a lighter side chain, which means I have to use less bass frequencies. So let's carve some some shit out. Okay, so actually, I don't like the super rhythmic bass line because with the sub. I mean, yeah, there's uh, there's still the rhythm here, but you can't really hear it. It's basically just playing these notes, and I kind of like that better. I kind of like the simpler bass line. So let's scratch my initial idea with this sound. I think we can use a sound similar to this, but let's not make it plucky. You know, not, let's not make it have that bounce. I think simple is better in this instance. So um, a respace might not be a bad option, actually. And I haven't used one yet. I kind of do. Not that, but. Ooh, wait a second. Okay, folks, so what we're going to need to do next, I actually really like the idea of a bass guitar in this drop as well. This will give it a little bit of movement because um, I am a sucker for a little bit of movement. And since I did decide to do a static bass line, um, you know, we can kind of get away with this. I'm going to go for probably a sound like this so we can hear each, um, each, you know, strike of the bass guitar. I'm not super interested with actually having those lows. I'm gonna kind of use it as a mid-range texture. I 
kind of heard a different bass idea in my head in terms of the rhythm. But first, let me get the sound in. <laughs> this is good. When when all these ideas pop in your head, it's good. That means the uh, the idea is you know going well. Okay, so I love this sound and how like throaty and mean it is. So I want to see if we do like this is this is taking a page out of 2014 right here. But making the bass line have a completely separate rhythm, but one that complements the bass. Uh, the leaves rather, sorry. So, I do want to see this idea through. It's gonna be messy for a second, but... Dude, let me just see. So I think this idea is phenomenal, but is this rhythm working with the kick and the tom good? Dude, this bass sound is awesome. What we're gonna do is introduce some pitch automation as well. Let's do 24 both ways. Love that. Um, okay, well now that we're, we're switching kind of baseline ideas, let's go ahead and copy this over to what we did before. I actually don't even know if I'm gonna rock with the respace anymore too, but definitely gonna want this sub in. This sound and this sound might just be enough. Low key. I also want to link the sub to the same pitch automation clip. Bang, bang. And let me just cut the little bit of sub that's in here so we're getting absolutely zero clashing. Is this rhythm and this rhythm, sorry, the bass guitar rhythm in this, is it too much, too much difference? I don't think so. Sounds good to me. Let me check the stereo image of this guy. Fun. I would say the only thing is that we should make the bass guitar we should make it pitch with everything else. Because when the other things are pitching but this isn't, it sounds almost out of key. It sounds a little weird. There we go. And then I think actually what I'm going to do is forget that idea. And I'm just going to copy this over. So this goes up over here and then it goes back down. I think that'll sound a little more uniform. Let me also go ahead and just label these two. Now what I'm thinking is let's revisit the kick and the tom. And maybe we can highlight like this rhythm. 
Yeah. I think that sounds a lot better, and I think that makes more sense and will help the bass line sound less crazy. Okay, now I do need to check out this sub bass. Because I didn't like go so crazy with the Simplon cut, there's a lot of low mid frequencies here and it's clashing with my other bass instruments. So make a pretty significant cut right there. All right, well. Everything is sounding absolutely phenomenal. We need to add a kind of atmospheric sound in the drop to go along with the leads and chords. I think that's a no-brainer. Potentially some effects. Um, and then maybe we could play around with the vocal and do something cool with the vocal as well. Mm. I actually do need to wrap up though because my fiance needs to film her videos. So I need to hurry up. So let's get this thing done. Um, we're going to start with a cool atmospheric sound. Now the drone we have in the break is an easy option and it already sounds so good. So let's just try that. And honestly, just because I feel like there is a slight lack of clarity in my low end, I do want to see if I just put my bass guitar, if I put the other bass rhythm on the bass guitar. What would that sound like? Oh, it does sound dope. I think I'm gonna do that, yeah. Okay, now something with the vocal. Very simple, we're gonna take something like Supermassive, Okay, so we're going to EQ this just by cleaning out the low end a bit and then EQing this harsh section. Okay, so now we got a nice little custom, if you will, vocal atmosphere for this drop. All right, now let me go ahead and get a nice little drop down lifter going. And honestly, for these kind of drops, I prefer crash effects. So I don't even know if we're going to do a noise, but let's definitely get in a crash effect. All right, so that's step one. And then I also, maybe we'll try this guy too. And this one. So I'm trying some weird thing on the vocal where I just kind of do this um, sidechain technique. I'm just reshaping the envelope pretty much using the mix to loosen it as opposed to just static. I think that it's going to sound better. We also need some fills in this drop. So we can kind of do that very easily with um, what I already have made. Let's do some crash. Nope, clap fills. Clap fills. Um, I love this one.
Now, this is going to be so random, but this is just how the cookie crumbles, folks. I hear really clear in my head a big string bed for the break. Um, so I'm just going to take a pause and just quickly add those in so I don't forget. We're going to take the drop chords and we're going to sustain them and then add another bass note. And then add some strings. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Let's go back to the drop. I want to fill. I think it was called Berlin fill. I called it. I did. Nice. Fits the tempo. Pitches down one semitone so that fits with the track. Make this monophonic. This sounds cleaner probably because of the lack of the tom. Interesting. Maybe I'm going to get rid of that tom. Oh wow, I completely underestimated that Tom. I actually do not love what it's doing. Maybe subtly? Nah, there's no point for it. Let's just get it out. Okay, now more effects here. Um, I feel like I feel like effects are good in this particular drop. They're gonna, they're gonna just glue things together. Sure. I want something like that. Or that. Now, what I could do, fun little trick in this situation, I'm gonna duplicate this and then reverse it. So it's gonna be like a uplifter, downlifter, and all in one. Let's chop this here, chop this there, fade this, fade this. Nice. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm grooving. We're gonna get a pre shift clap. Copy over the other clap fills. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have to wrap up, unfortunately. My fiance does have to film. Um, and what I'm going to do, actually, because I did get most of the idea down, um, it does need to be tweaked so that it sounds as good as possible. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on it more, and then I'll just overlay it with the final listen back right now. So when I say... Let's, let's see what I came up with. And we listen back to it. You guys are actually going to hear an updated version. And I'll put that on the screen as well uh, so you guys don't forget. But um, I am going to work on it more after I'm done filming here. And uh, and I'll you know make these fine tweaks. But listen, regardless, holy guacamole, I'm so happy that I did this. I'm so happy that I, I made this remix. And I'm really happy that I decided to film it because I think this is good content. I think you guys will enjoy this one. But yeah, guys, let's take a list from the top. And let's see what I came up with. I never thought I'd see the day That I wouldn't see your face Looking back, God, I wish I'd known That I'd love you, then have to let go Cause you brought out the best in me You always saw a light no one else could see Now I know that you're gone But I promise I won't forget Thank you for all the memories Cause you'll never know what it meant to me Cause you were the one who gave me peace When I had no left Held me close at my lonely end Thanks for the memories
Dude, once again, I'm so happy that I worked on this today because I was debating not doing it. So I'm really happy that I did. And again, guys, what you just heard, what you guys just heard is an updated version because I'm going to clean this up. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Studio Time with Riles. So if you guys did enjoy this episode of Studio Time with Riles, please be sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time I upload. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check out my Patreon. I got lessons, sample packs, project stems to studio time with Rouse, a bunch of other goodies, including a course, which another one is going to come out. I don't know how soon, but I did film it, so keep an eye out for that. But all of that will be down below in my description. So that'll be all for me today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.